What's going on Spartans? Welcome back. I want to do something special for you guys today. Here is my iPad and obviously I've got several games on here I play and I can show you my bases real quick. I just did a really bad recording of uh, This Means War and it was really brutal but here is my base. As you can see it's a pretty high level and the command center is level 8. It's basically maxed out level 8 command center. However, I do have like 1 billion or 2 billions that are upgrading currently and then it's maxed out and then I got to go to the next 7.5 mil up. And unfortunately, I don't have enough of anything to go up that high, unfortunately. I need to rebuild my troops, but I'll do that later. Let's go to the next game. I'll show you Plunder Pirates real quick, and I'll do an attack with these. If you want to see me actually play these games, go ahead and comment below and tell me you want to see these games. And I will do a video with them. I'll do a short one, a long one, whatever you guys want to see. Just uh, tell me what you guys want to watch, and we will definitely do it, because I'm always open to playing other games. Uh, this is Plunder Pirates, made by Rubio Stars. They are the creators of Angry Birds, and this is a really awesome game. Great 3D rendering. Love the way it looks, and I will definitely be playing more of this and showing you guys some of it, as long as you guys are interested, of course. Now, let's go ahead and just show you, obviously, fight arrival captains, just like searching for a normal battle in Clash of Clans. However, exploring the seas is actually kind of cool. And as you can see, we are exploring at 12 minutes to my guys come back from exploration, and then I'll be able to do an attack for you. So we'll wait till then. But love the way it looks. Extremely beautiful, guys. I love the way this game is. Super Boom Beach real quick. And then we'll hop on to World Zombination. And, of course, end with Clash of Clans. Or, you know, we'll do Clash of Clans next. Whatever. So, Boom Beach. And here we go. We'll do an attack in Boom Beach for sure. You gotta love it. Let's see what we got here. We got a statue. Deploy to get bonus. Power Stone chance 21%. You know what? We're gonna reclaim that. We don't need it. And is there anything we can build? Nope. We got 23 power powder. That's pretty crazy. Gotta like that. That's helpful. When is Dr. Terror coming? I wonder. I'll be able to... Oh, shoot. Come on, guys. Click. Click, click, click. Give me all the loot. And let's collect our treasure from our sub. And there we go. 16 diamonds. Not bad. Not bad at all. And we... What do we create? Hold on. Hold on a second here. All right. We're going to collect that and attack. Here we go, guys. We found one up here. It's got a decent amount of loot. Let's get in it and win. But here we go. All right. So this base is pretty solid. I need to worry about this and this to start out with. And then further on, we'll worry about that last rocket. So how should we drop? Hmm. Good question. I think two missiles there. Two missiles there. Might need a third one, actually. Shoot. Maybe a barrage. Will it leak over? Will it? Yes. Awesome. So the barrage is going to damage that and leak over and take out what I need it to. So that works really well. I'm trying to set if I need another barrage here. You know what? I don't want to lose any troops to some bombs. So we're going to barrage right there and then drop all of our guys. Obviously, we're trying to make sure that those bombs are cleared 100%. That's why I dropped the heavies on the left side to hit the bombs because they're not going to take too much heat from them. And they'll be able to make sure that my Zookas don't get hit. Now, unfortunately, my Zookas are being a little silly and they're going the wrong way. Get away from that. Go away from the mine. <laughs> All right, so they decided to walk toward that mine. It kind of scared me. Had to flare them away because that missile and the mine would have wrecked them. And you don't want to lose your Zookas this early on. Now, it looks like they're going to spread out decently. Let's worry about this in the back. And we'll take that out real quickly. Hopefully, one more missile should be enough to end it. Oh, boy. Come on. Where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? Come on. Give it to me. There we go. Boom. Done. I'm guessing done anyway. Just over. Oh, no. Overconfidence didn't work. One more. All right, guys. So we're going to let our guys spread out. And I'm actually not going to worry about anything. I'm going to worry about right here. Because this is killing my guys really fast. And I'm going to keep these under reps. Obviously, I'm going to let them fight it out and see if we can get all the way in without having to worry. But just keep shock launching, or shock bombing, I should say. These major, major defenses that are the biggest problem. And hopefully my Zookas will clear it. Normally, I'd be a lot more careful with how I'm dropping my guys. Because I do want to save as many as possible. But I wanted to see if my troops could just wipe this base. If I just gave them support only and didn't flare them. If you want to be really good, you should flare. And use strategy of that. However, you don't need to always. Sometimes all you need to do is just have a little bit of fun. And drop down some barrages and missiles. And then rock out. Let's see. Can we get it with the win? Boom! Barrage for the win, guys. That was pretty solid. Gotta enjoy that. So let's see how much we won. Pretty solid. Two more victory points. 243,000 gold. 159,000 wood. 152,000 stone and 51,000 iron. 
Not bad. Lost a couple troops, but nothing too crazy. Only six heavies and one zook. And here we go. We got this. Boom. Not bad. Not bad. Let's send our sub out to C and see if we can win. All right. So there's a spot we can dive. Here we go. Here we go. Let's go ahead and take that one. So in a day, we'll come back and have that. Hold on. We got a little chest over here with some diamonds. Got to enjoy the free diamonds in this game. That's always fun. And I'm hoping for Dr. Terra soon. When was the last time he came? Look at all these diamonds I can collect. This is crazy. <laughs> Guys, my base wins a lot on defense. Luckily, Dr. Terra, I missed it two days ago. No! I was, oh man, that was the day I took off. I took a day off of Boom Beach, and yeah, that's what I get for taking a day off. Hopefully he's back soon, because I do love Dr. Terra. That's my favorite. I'll do a video on him. And let's get out of here while our troops build. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We'll go back. Hold on. Hold on. Let's not get hasty now. <laughs> Who's seen uh, The Hobbit? I love The Hobbit, guys. I was just watching it the other day. Let's upgrade this level 11 cannon to level 12. There we go. Pretty solid. Continue to upgrade the base, obviously. Man, how much do we need to upgrade this? That's a real question. Dang! Ouch. That's a lot. Oh, yeah, I'm not willing to spend 30 bucks to upgrade it, guys. And unfortunately, I can't even upgrade this until I do, so it's really a shame. Actually, I can, but it's... Oh, man, once again, 20 bucks. Kind of a pain. Can't do much unless I'm willing to spend money. Because I don't play enough. Uh, yeah, that's the honest truth. You need to once you get that level, you need to play nonstop to continue to upgrade. Um, unfortunately, can't do that. Hopefully, you enjoy this video though. Let's do an attack in Clash of Clans. Now, obviously, we're gonna collect real quick. Let's get all this gold and dark elixir and everything. Uh, bada bada wing. And if you guys have any insight in the next series I should do, please go ahead and give me some ideas. Obviously, I just lost an attack. Actually, sucks, but whatever. Actually, my defense is lost, I mean. But it's only minus one. I could take this base out really easily. Um, it is a southern teaser, and it's got that town hall pretty exposed. Now it's 17 trophies, 3,000 dark. I got to make sure I get the dark elixir, but otherwise it's worth it. Let's actually attack this and see how we do. I think my troops are all built. Uh, you know what? Whatever. Even if they aren't, let's just try it. I'm not going to be afraid of anything. Oh, shit. Big bombs. Watch out. <laughs> this is not good news, guys. You don't want big bombs. That's all you ever don't want. Oh, rage spell. There we go. Wall broke in. And hopefully, hopefully, we can get a good luck charm here and freeze plus jump. There we go. So I'm hoping that between everything going on here, that lightning spell should help out. And let's do this. We'll enrage. And help out my king, hopefully. The queen needs to attack that town hall. We need to get rid of that immediately. Town hall needs to be destroyed. There it goes. And invis the queen for the win. Hopefully she takes out a little bit more. We need some more damage done here, guys. And, oh, unfortunately not going to get that dark elixir, it looks like. But what can we do about that? Not much. Oh, my God. Big bomb. Damn. Big bomb's going to be the death of me, guys. I don't know what's going on here. I cannot stop hitting him. All right. So we're just going to... Oh, my God. <laughs> Fuck, this guy is terrible, man. He's got big bombs everywhere. Anyway, so 44%. Looks like we might not get that 50, unfortunately, just due to the fact he's got really well-placed bombs. And my guys are hitting every single one of them. And these golemites are going down way too fast. These walls are holding my troops in place. And that is going to be the end of this, guys. Unfortunately, it looks like 46, maybe 47%. We are not going to get the 50. Sorry about that, guys. But a decent, easy win. And now we're going to log off and take a defense. Hopefully we don't get taken for more than five. We probably will, but not a big deal. Not pushing that much anymore. And we're going to call this video right here. See you guys in the next one. Peace.